Hey everybody, now college basketball games on December 1st don't come up bigger around here than New Mexico visiting the Holman Center this afternoon. Indiana great Steve Alford at the helm for the 25th ranked Lobos against his longtime assistant Greg Lansing and the Sycamores. Jake Odom always seems to play well under the bright lights. Today was no different. Early on, Sycamore's going to Manny Arop. Arop isolated in the post, makes a nice one-on-one -on -one move. He scored the first seven Sycamore points on his way to 17 today. Later in the half, Arop drawing the double, leaves it for Justin Gant. The big man flushes it home. What athleticism from the Terre Haute North grad. Seconds later, Dewan coming, soaring off the steal for the dunk, and the Holman Center was rocking. Jake Odom sat with two fouls for much of the first half, and New Mexico took advantage. Their star, Kendall Williams, was a monster. He buries the three ball here. The Lobos took a 14-point lead to the locker room, but then Jake Odom went to work possession by possession. He brings ISU back. Spinning in the lane, Odom gets the bucket and the foul. Then he's down on one knee, somehow keeps it alive, knifes through the lane, picks up another bucket. This time, it's a great pass from Odom. Watch this. Three-quarter court alley-oop. Dewan Cummings is fouled on the play. What an athletic play by Cummings in the free throw. Cut it to two. That's where the Sycamores found themselves with just seconds remaining. Kendall Williams, who was so good, misses both free throws. It's Odom time once again. The Sycamores get it in the hands of number 13. He calmly gets over the timeline into traffic again. Two ball fakes later, Odom gets the bucket to tie it at 64 with two ticks to go and we're headed to overtime. The Lobos took over in the extra session, outscoring ISU 13-4. That three by Hugh Greenwood ices the nine point Lobo win but you couldn't help but walk away encouraged by the heart of the Sycamores showed in the comeback. Even Alford noticed the performance by the ISU floor general, Jake Odom. Yeah, we've played UConn. We, we've played a lot. George Mason's got great guards. Davidson has great guards. Uh, in my mind, watching tape and going into this game, I, I thought he was the best guard we'd played against so far, and he proved that, and I told him that. I said, that's what makes great players. When the scouting report says you're really good, and then you play really good. That, that's a sign of a great player, and I, I just think he's a terrific guard. All right, and that's coming from a guy that was one of the best in college when he played. Uh, he's seen it all. He's won a, a NCAA championship, uh, held the big trophy, you know, on the on the last night of the season. Um, and he's a tough guy and a tough competitor, and he knows what a tough guy and a tough competitor is. I wouldn't trade Jake Odom for anybody. I mean, it's an honor to get a, a compliment like that from uh, Coach Alford. You know, he's he's been an Indiana legend his whole life, basically. You know, and. Uh, to have somebody uh, give me give me praise like that, you know, it's nice. And uh, but it's about the team, though. You know, and I couldn't have done this without these guys. So uh, give credit to them and uh, and helping me out out there on the floor.